Hello again, welcome back to Asgard, and welcome back to Cook Serve Delicious 2. So the game has officially launched. I decided to wait for the next video until the launch, since it was so close. And then I, we could start doing progression and look at all the new modes and all that good stuff. Um, and you'll notice that the original song, like the Cook Serve Delicious song, is back. Awesome. Um, I love this song. It's kind of, kind of gets stuck in my head sometimes after I play this game for a bit. So anyways, if we take a look here, we can now load our game. And I did make a save here. So we have a save. Let's go ahead and load it. We are a zero star restaurant. restaurant and level zero. Okay, it says, welcome to Cook Serve Delicious 2. Welcome to the launch of version one of Cook Serve Delicious 2. This is the very first step in the journey of making this the best game ever. Unfortunately, due to three critical bugs found at the last few days of testing, I had to push back some features to make this launch day, which include mouse support for the main menu, mouse is fully supported in-game, and a few elements of the menus, such as viewing boosters and detractors, which are in the game but are invisible at the moment, and the email menu. All of these features will be back in the game in the coming days. I'm so excited for this game and I can't wait to make a bunch of new levels and foods as free DLC. However, the main priority for the next week will be to iron out any bugs and add highly requested features such as the custom keybinds for the hundreds of ingredients for all the foods in the game. I'm literally just one dev programming, designing, answering tech support, planning future gameplay updates, etc. So please be patient if you have any issues and I will respond as fast as humanly possible. Enjoy the game. Dev guy, Chebagans. And it says, P.S. More achievements coming by the end of the week. And don't worry, they will unlock retroactively. Okay. So let's go ahead and take a look. I don't think there's anything else in the news section. But let's go ahead and open up our campaign. And we do have the rest of these. Well, I think the tutorials are still... Yeah, they're just the same thing that we covered during the beta. Um, there is designer mode. This is unlocked. We don't have anything to put into here. But you can see that we can do create... And we can customize walls, floors, windows, lighting, objects, art, seating, and counters. So that's going to be fun as we progress and we unlock things. We'll be able to customize our restaurants, which is going to be good. And of course, that's our progression restaurant. You know, the these restaurants through here, they have their own decor and everything. Um, but that'll be for our Cooks Are Delicious 2 progression section. Um, also, the food catalog is all open and you can even even these locked foods and stuff these are practicable they're in the game you just have to purchase them as you go through and then you can see that the um, information on the food some of them aren't implemented just yet like griddle eggs but many more of them are as you can see if I go through here the only one we've encountered that was not in here is griddle eggs and all of these have practice mode enabled. I went through a lot of these. I did some practice things earlier. Nothing too crazy. But I, honestly, Griddle Eggs is, I think, the first one that I've seen that doesn't have a description. And it may have it may have went unnoticed, honestly. So I might send him a message and just let him know that Griddle Eggs don't have a description. I don't know if he knows or not for sure. but Because going through here, I mean, I'm not checking all of them. But, you know, it seems like everything is... Everything has it, but griddle eggs. All right, so let's go ahead and select our chef. So chef one, chef two, chef three, four, five, six, seven. That's interesting. You go chef six, seven, eight, nine, or eight, 19, nine, 20, 10, 21. Yeah, the numbers are all off. I'll let him know about that as well. I'm gonna send him. Let's send him a message in a minute. Okay, so we have to pick our chef, and I think I am going to go with... Ah, uh, we'll just go with this guy for right now. Okay, so anyways, let's go ahead and jump into the tower. And I think what I'm going to do is each episode I'm going to do maybe a couple days of progression and then a couple of these, um, these chef for hire modes. Okay, so today I think we're going to start with chef for hire. I know we've, we've done the Max Wiener shift one, but we're going to go ahead and do a day of that maybe two days and then we'll switch over to progression mode and start or i think we'll do one yeah one chef for hire today and then go into progression mode and work through that so this one technically we did this during the beta but that's fine there'll be a couple things you know a couple of these episodes or a couple of these days these shifts but now we can actually unlock things and get get things for our work so that is why i want to do this 
for sure. I'm gonna go ahead and turn my keyboard here a little bit, make this a little bit more comfortable. Uh, German pretzels. And let me go ahead and prep some sides. And let me get onion rings as well. There you go. Okay, queso, sour cream, and refried beans. This doesn't seem too bad after doing some of the, the ones that we were doing in the video that were just intense. This could be. Okay. I was doing shift one. I was losing my mind. Okay. This isn't too bad. This is, honestly, this is pretty, pretty relaxed at the moment compared to some of the stuff that we were encountering, you know, at the end of some of that beta stuff. And I don't know if you saw, I know last, I think it was the last episode or something, I said that I was going to go see it. Actually, by the time that episode came out, I'd already went and saw it in theaters. Um, and if you did not see on the, on the channel, I did a short video just talking about it and no spoilers or anything, but man, like, I was, I was personally very disappointed with that movie. I know some people disagree and some people loved it, but I think for those of us that grew up with the first, the original movie and stuff like that. Oh, we need more pretzels. Of course, we need more pretzels. Classic pretzel. There you go. Okay, queso, jalapenos, beans. I'll continue what I was talking about in a moment. <laughs> once, the, uh, once the rush hour is passed. Alright, ketchup and mustard. Ketchup. Six. I love the way they, I love the way they talk on this game. Like I absolutely love it. I wish I had space to prep hot dogs, kind of. But I mean, I guess I throw them on the grill, and it's not that bad. Okay. Whoa! Premium bun. Oh man, this guy's gonna mess me up bad. Chili, onions, mustard, ketchup. Four is. Regular cheese chili. Premium bun. Oh my gosh. Uh, pretzel bun and some relish. Woo. Okay. And relish. Man, that first guy that came in there was like, I want everything. Okay, let me get some corn dogs going here. Some pretzels going. And let me get some sides. Oh, I hate these. I hate these. I hate these. I hate these. Alright, let me get just a few more sides here. Onion rings. There we go. And that should hopefully carry us through the rest of the day, but... But yeah, anyways, for those of us that grew up with the first, the first movie, the original, and everything, I just... I don't know. I wasn't a fan. Like... It's one of those few movies that was like, okay, I think I like the kid actors more, but anyways, I've already went over this in the video, so I'm not going to ramble on about it, but I was just letting you guys know that by the time that video came out, I'd already went and saw it, yet, so that's, that's the moral of the story, what I was, what I was getting to there, but premium bun, cheese, relish, chili, and onions, and ketchup, and mustard, and everything. Like, I think when they come in and order everything, it's because I'm cautious. I'm like, do they actually want everything? Because sometimes, in my experience with the first game, they would actually leave out, like, one little thing somewhere. And then they'd be like, surprise, I actually didn't want everything. I just wanted most everything on there. Okay, Rush Hour's about to kick in. There we go, ketchup. Okay, so sour cream, refried beans. I swear, like... Whenever I play this game, my nose always itches. Like, <laughs> I, don't, I don't get it. I think it's... I don't know. Uh, ketchup. Pretzel bun. And you know, hot dogs. Those are one of those foods that I absolutely love. It's like one of my guilty pleasures. Like, 
I mean, I will say I'm more of a, a fan of like brats than hot dogs, but I do like hot dogs a lot. Cheese and ketchup. Mustard. Okay, I'm coming, I'm coming. Um, onions. Mustard ketchup. Pretzel bun. Onions, mustard ketchup. Mosh. What was the, uh, there was something like that on the first one. Honestly, in some ways, I kind of miss some of the, the first games, chores and, and little things like that, because if you watch the first one, you probably remember, like, the dishes was like, T -t 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 -t, just wash them real quick. I think the, the dishes on this one are implemented so that you have kind of a break, because you can't really do anything while it's running. You have to wait for it to finish running. Okay, let me go ahead and put on some, I don't know, tighter tots. I wish I had like an instant kind of side that I could have thrown together, because honestly I don't think anybody's going to get this side. Regular cheese, chili, onions, mustard, queso, sour cream, beans, and then we have a pretzel bun, cheese, ketchup. That was a good warm up. And perfect day completed. So we got 61 customers served, highest combo of 61, 38 delicious orders, 61 perfect orders. No average, no bad. Oh, and money has been decreased drastically. So we earned $105 and we got $166 in tips. So we actually earned more in tips than we did in actual money. That's awesome. But yeah, so if you recall during the beta, we were getting like $1,000 almost every day, regardless of what we were doing or how good we did. And this is a bit more, that's nice because it seems like it's going to take a little bit of effort to unlock the stuff. So we got three medals and you can see bronze medals are higher as one out of two to get a reward. Silver medals, one out of four. It's weird that silver, it takes more than bronze, but it may just be for that first initial, you know, reward or something. And then gold medals, one out of one. Oh, what did we get? We got item unlocked, level up, small restaurant table. That is for our level up, because I think we hit level one in that. So we got a small restaurant table, item unlocked, level up, wall object 83. I'm not sure what it is. Like a like an orb or something that goes on the wall, or I don't know. Anyways, item unlocked, level up, colored walls. So we can get brick walls. And then we got art. It's a palm tree we can put on the wall. Uh, food unlocked. Fried fish added to the pantry for getting a gold medal. That is awesome. Yum level one achieved. New chef for hire levels unlocked. Aha. Okay. Okay, so we unlocked standard chef level two, and then we unlocked Edie's level one as well. Okay. And did we start with food in this one? Okay, yeah, we start with pretzels, cereal, Salisbury steak, and fried fish we just unlocked. And then for sides, we start with mac and cheese. And for drinks, we start with soda fountain. And you can see we actually have the name of the, the food up here now, which is kind of nice. Okay, so do we want to start? Let's do the first day. We'll just use the initial ones that they give us, I think. So let's go ahead and edit entrees. We're going to do pretzels cereal and Salisbury steak that's such a bizarre such a bizarre <laughs> menu I don't think cereal fits and then we got mac and cheese and then our soda fountain and let's start our new day our very first day so I'm kind of curious to see when the email gets implemented like how what we're gonna get because if you recall there was like the little challenges and stuff that they would email us in the first game and things like that so Okay, bonus objectives for today. Earn a five times combo. That's going to be easy. Earn two perfect days and earn five delicious orders in a single day. I'm pretty sure that we can't really get two perfect days in one day, but that's fine. Milestones. Serve 500 drinks, 500 sides, 1,000 customers across all modes. We've already served 110. 
I wonder how that works, because we only, we've only did one day. I really did no days since the game came out. Like, I was waiting for you. Well, I didn't have any level experience. Um, and then serve 750 perfect orders and delicious orders. Performance. I wonder if the performance is maybe what we have to do to level up. I don't know. Like, or not level up, but star up. Macaroni going in. And I'm going to go ahead and prep a little bit extra pretzels. German pretzels. There we go. That stuff lasts for a little bit, so. There you go. Get out the door. We earned zero dollars in tips. We're actually steadily making our way to level two right now. So, I imagine these first few levels will go pretty quick so that we get some of the things unlocked. And after this, we will go to designer mode and kind of customize this, so. Um, oh, wow. We haven't done cereal before, so cornflakes and milk. There you go. That's our first time making cereal, so. I swear my nose itches anytime I play this. <laughs> I think it's one of those nerve things. <coughs> because sometimes when I'm playing something and I'm really enthralled in it, like, for example, if I'm playing like a console thing, I don't play console a whole lot anymore, but used to, when I would play it, anytime I'd get into something that was kind of nerve-wracking, I would, my hands would itch or something. You know, I think it's like nerves. And I think on this, my nose itches is, is what happens. I don't know. Salisbury steak and medium gravy. Or M gravy, I don't know. Mushroom gravy, maybe? Or meat gravy, I don't know. I have no clue. I think I think it is mushroom gravy. Now that I think about it, I'd, I'm always looking at other parts of the screen and not the actual food prep, and I'm pretty sure it puts mushrooms on it whenever we do the M gravy. I'm pretty sure that's what that is. Because I'm accustomed to having mushrooms with Salisbury steak. Okay, we need fiber blast and milk. Okay, let me load this up. And let me go ahead and get some more pretzels being made and some more mac and cheese. Let's go ahead and load that up. Cereal, they want cornflakes, milk, and blueberries. Um, four is done. I'm going to go ahead and send them on their way. Mushroom gravy, that's what it is. Okay. Salisbury steak and mushroom gravy. Salisbury steak and regular gravy. This is actually kind of relaxing, like right now. The rush hours at this stage in the game, not too bad. If, if you're familiar with uh, Juicy Ooze. Okay, that's what we want. Salisbury steak and O gravy, onion gravy. Okay. That makes, that makes sense. Okay, M Wheats, milk, and bananas. And I will say that certain things feel so much more fluid, and they feel a lot different. Because, like, when I just took the trash out, I only had to mash it, like, three times. Um, and I don't recall that being a thing during the beta. Like, it felt like I just had to mash, 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 like, every time. And it's not, it's not so bad now. Alright. And onion gravy. And regular gravy. Oh man, I'm out of sides. Let me get some more sides going, guys. Pretzels going in. German pretzels. And we leveled up. Awesome. And we'll just kind of try to lock, or not lock, I'm looking at that and thinking. At the same time, I'm going to try to like rotate in foods and sides and stuff like that and try to keep an eye on it. Ideally, I would have just two up, I think, right now, but let these kind of wear down and then about halfway through add in. Okay, we got a rush hour and an hour, so I am going to go ahead and prep some more pretzels right before that rush hour hits, I think. It would be cool if people ordered mixed cereal, because I'm, I'm a person that, I quite like the mixed cereal, like, where you take like two different cereals or three different cereals and mix them together. Ever since I was a kid, like, I love mixing cereals, like, if they go together, you know. Certain cereals I just wouldn't mix, but. Okay, all this Salisbury steak. 
I'm waiting for that one to get cooked. Let's go ahead and load that one up. Okay, steak and onion gravy. And hopefully we get a perfect day today. If we don't, it's going to be like a, a fluke kind of thing. Like, oh, whoops, didn't mean to do that. Steak and onion gravy. Steak and onion gravy. I'm just going to take my time so I don't make any like silly mistakes here. Because we have plenty of time. Plenty of time. Trash. Juicy ooze. I don't understand these people ordering, coming to a restaurant to order cereal in the afternoon. Like, <laughs> I just can't. I don't think I've ever ordered cereal at a restaurant, though. Like, I, I can think of times, like, being at, like, those continental breakfasts in, like, hotels or something and getting cereal. That's one thing, but I just can't think of... I'm going to go ahead and put up a little bit more of that stuff. I think that'll be plenty, though, for the rest of the day, so... But, usually if they have an actual, like, good breakfast at a hotel, that's what I'm gonna go to. You know, some kind of... Well, I say good breakfast. The only good hotel breakfast that come to mind, really, like, actually good hotel breakfast that I've ever had, were while I was in Japan. They had legit hotel breakfast, like... I remember I was surprised one one morning I woke up and it was like I think the first hotel that we stayed at when I, when we got to Japan it was in um, uh, where was it um, I can't remember I can't think of uh, it was it was like right it's one of the districts there in Tokyo but um, perfect day complete 56 customers served 33 delicious orders 56 perfects. We earned four hundred and forty-four dollars and one hundred and thirty-six in tips. It's crazy. And what do we get here? Um, earn a fifty-six times combo. That was a thing. So we get this really like fancy table that's like above our means. And we got uh, thirty-three delicious orders. We got like a, a hedge wall. Ooh, that could be interesting. Um, item unlocked for leveling up. We got restaurant booths, so people can sit down instead of having those like those dinky little. I don't know what these tables, what you would call them. Um, they remind me of like those little cheap event tables or whatever. We also got those booths for leveling up. I like those a bit more. Um, table necessities. Good stuff. Uh, hanging ceiling lights. And yum, level 2 achieved. New chef for higher levels unlocked. Woot. Um, but anyways, like the first... Oh, chili bowl. It's, it's just ice cream and chocolate pie. <laughs> Best restaurant list ever. Oh, and we unlocked the third Max Wieners level as well. Okay. And I want to look at designer mode. But anyways, that first hotel that we stayed at, woke up, and I was thinking like our normal continental breakfast. And they had like breads imported from like Sweden, I think, or something. And... Like, all, they had all these different kinds of, like, imported breads and, like, really nice... Like, that was a good breakfast. I was like, okay, this is... This is legit. Now, let's see. We have... Oh. Whoa. I thought it was just gonna, like, paste the whole walls here, but it's not. Like, you actually go through and you can place this. Now, I can't move it up and down. You know, it just covers, like, the wall section. And I guess, like, you would build your... Your whole thing, like, on top of it. So, I mean, I guess I could do, like, like that, and it goes behind the stuff, you know. Aha! Okay. Oh, man, this is going to take, this is going to take some thought. Like, this is going to be fun. Oh, man, this is such an amazing addition to this game. Like, the only thing is it's going to overlap, if I'm not careful. And then, of course, I wouldn't have, like, I would have to cover up my windows to have that top section there done. So, let me see here. Not sure how you, uh... Oh, I just deleted the entire restaurant. <laughs> Whoops. Okay. Well, let's get ourselves... I'm going to have to play around with this a bit. Probably between episodes and stuff. 
really customize this out, but let's put in like maybe like I don't know, like a restaurant both right over here. And then like a booth like right over here. So they have like a window view. Like we only seat four customers here. And then we could do like a little table. You know, maybe. No, I didn't I didn't want those ugly chairs. I was wanting to put something on the table. I would and table decor it customizes them all. Um, okay, so let me let me pop back out of here. Let me edit, delete. Oh man. And like considering how much we've already unlocked. From this, like, I am very, very interested to see what all comes out of this, because, let's see, do we want, that's like one of those, like, dinky little things, I'm gonna do ketchup, mustard, and napkins, we're serving, like, a lot of pretzels at the moment, so, um, do we have counters, not much, we do have that guy sleeping on the subway, I don't, I don't, don't want him on the wall, yeah, we got this big thing. I'm gonna put this like, I don't know, right here, <laughs> and then we'll do like a picture of. They don't. They don't get a window. They just get a picture of a, a palm tree. There you go. Enjoy. I still have like this whole big section right here. I wonder if mouse control is gonna be a thing with this. Like, can I do? I can't at the moment, but. Oh yeah, and we have these like little ceiling lights. I guess. Oh. This is nifty. I like this a lot. Oh, and you can put lights over the tables instead. Oh, and you can do like global lighting. Oh, this is cool. Okay. <laughs> My restaurant's looking terrible right now. And we don't have any floor, so we've got to stick with what we got here. Oh, and you could customize the windows. Okay. Okay, I tell you what, I'm going to leave this... <laughs> My gargantuan amount of lights. Let me uh, let me delete some of these. In fact, okay, we're gonna go back to this. Kind of looks like a dark, dingy. Feel like these booths need to be shifted over to the right, but I'm gonna leave it as it is for right now, and then we'll switch back out and let's go back to the campaign mode, um, to the tower. Um, do I want to stop by and get some food? We have two thousand eight hundred fifty-one dollars that we can use, and I could purchase. You can see right here. I can buy like gumbo for 1150 and add it to the menu, um, chowder, chili. So do we want to buy some food? Now some of these, of course, they're locked. We have to do, we have to progress to get these. And you can see there's a, it says $12 holding station required entree. So like egg drop soup is only a $3 food. Um, but if you come down here to something a lot nicer like ribs, that's $16 for ribs. Steak is 15 ramen oh that's what we're gonna buy that is what we are going to buy okay and i love this i'm gonna read this one i'm not gonna read through all of these but um, at least i don't think so because <laughs> there's so many foods but it says while ramen first appeared in the early 20th century its popularity stems from the early 1990s when j-pop megastar toshiro motoki appeared in a ramen commercial in the ad motoki is seen racing onto a train with a bowl of ramen in hand. As the train leaves the station, Motoki sees a gang harassing an elderly woman. Uh, after telling them to back off, the gang turns on Motoki. Motoki fights them while eating his ramen between punches. The fight culminates with Motoki throwing his ramen into the air, doing a cartwheel, kicking the gang's head honcho out of the train, and catching his ramen before it lands. The ad famously ends with Motoki looking into the camera, shouting, it's always ramen o'clock, as a gaggle of schoolgirls giggle affectionately. While food is typically banned from most inner city rail, as the ad captured the hearts and minds of the nation, an exception was made. The rule was overturned a year later when a devastating earthquake shook Tokyo, causing thousands of ramen equipped train growers to drop their boiling hot meals. So we can buy it for um, 1850 and you can see right here it says Origin Japan it is a $22 entree. Way more expensive than it was in Japan. Way more expensive. But that is fine by me. We're going to purchase that. And let's pop over here and let's change up our menu a little bit. So edit entrees. And I'm going to pull off cereal. <laughs> I don't want to serve cereal anymore at our restaurant. So we're going to add ramen in. And I'm going to go ahead and pull off the Salisbury steak. And we are going to add in fried fish, I think. Do we want to pull off? Yeah. We'll do that. We'll do fried fish, ramen, and pretzels will be our menu. 
Okay, so let's go ahead and start our new day. Like, if you buzz, you can see it's not available right now. We'll get into buzz once it actually shows up on the thing. But basically, depending on your menu and stuff like that, you have different uh, bonuses to customers coming in, stuff like that. Okay, so our bonus objectives are in a seven times combo, are in two perfect days, are in ten delicious orders in a single day. And then milestones, serve 500 drinks, 500 side dishes, 1,000 customers, all modes. We've served 200 at the moment. I don't know where it's getting that number because we've only served like 100 customers so far. I don't know. And then performance. Okay. So here we go. Let's hope for a perfect day today. Let's go ahead and prep some pretzels. And we'll go ahead and get some fried fish. Craft and macaroni. Awesome menu here. This is this is a top quality menu. Okay, so we need to add in ramen, oil, shrimp, and chashi. Ramen seems like it's gonna be interesting to make. Because I imagine once that done once that's done, we're gonna have to do a lot of stuff to finish it off as well. Alright, let me go ahead and get some more macaroni preps. Like, ramen is a top quality food, I think, on here, so... Whoa, okay, chashi shrimp, corn, boiled eggs, kamaboko. That is my jam. I actually have some in the fridge that I've been eating through. Like, I will just sit and eat kamaboko like it's going out of style. I love it. Okay, ramen, oil, um, shredded pork, and bacon. I think ramen's gonna be tough. But uh, we will probably make a fair amount of money off of it, but it's gonna be a tough one. Alright, let me go ahead and make some more macaroni. You want some macaroni with your ramen? Okay, oil and kakuni. Oh, also very, very good. Ah! I love this. I love the fact that ramen is on the on the menu here. Okay, shredded pork, bacon, butter, komoboko, good choice. And we have some nori, also good stuff, and some sesame seeds, and things are about to get very, very hard because everybody wants ramen. Okay, ramen, oil, kakuni. Okay, we need fish. Dunk it. Let me go ahead and prep some more fish as well. Okay, uh, kakuni, butter, cabbage, corn, and uh, uh, kamaboko, and togarashi. Okay. And let's go ahead and get uh, ramen, oil, shredded pork, and uh, uh, bacon. There you go. Ah, oh my gosh! Oil and uh, shredded pork. Okay. Kakuni. Butter, cabbage. I'll get the hang of this pretty quickly, though. I kind of want to keep it on the menu as like a, a staple food for our restaurant. Okay, ramen, oil, kashu, and shrimp. Uh, pork, bacon, butter, como poco, nori, and sesame seeds. Okay. Ramen, oil, uh, kakuni. Shredded pork, cabbage, corn, boiled egg, mussels, tokarashi. Oh my gosh, chashu shrimp, corn, boiled egg, komoboko, scallions, sesame seeds. Oh my gosh, it's so much. Everybody wants ramen. Oh my gosh. Okay, kakuni. Butter, cabbage, corn, komoboko, and togarashi. Okay, uh, ramen. Ramen. I lost my fingers there. Uh, bacon. And... Uh, shoots. Okay. Kakuni. And pork. Everybody loves that pork on there. Okay, let me, uh, let me prep some more things here. Classic, and then let me get rid of that. Let me get some more macaroni going. 
I'm coming. I'm coming for the Roman. Josh, you shrimp. Uh, corn, egg, comboco, scallions, sesame seeds. Ah, this could be bad. Shoots. Uh, comboco, mussel, nori, sesame seeds. Okay, um, cod, dunk it, fish, dunk it, and, okay, pork, kakuni, cabbage. I hope they will quit ordering some of these things soon. Doesn't seem like they're going to, though. They love, they love this, uh, ramen being on the menu, I think. Ramen, oil... Shrimp chashu. Okay. Four. And shrimp and chashu. Okay. Oh my gosh. All this ramen with all these ingredients is tough. Oh my god. But I'd like to get good at it so we have at least starting out we have like a good high dollar food on our menu. Would be nice. I just have to get all the uh, basically all the stuff down so I can just click it and know get it kind of in a smooth fashion. So, egg, gomboko, scallion, sesame seeds, shrimp, corn, boiled egg, gomboko, scallion, sesame seeds, butter, cabbage, corn, gomboko, and togarashi. I'm getting there. I'm getting there. It just takes a little bit. All right, let me go ahead and get his fish going in. Take care of that bug. And let me get your fish going in. Okay, I'd like to get some... I'm not even going to worry about prepping sides. It's so late right now. And chashu. Ramen. Oil. Shredded pork. Okay, so we made it through the day. I just have to get all the rest of these recipes down. Or all the rest of these orders out. And we'll have a perfect day. Ramen is going to be fun, but I think I think we'll be better for it. Um, <coughs> I think we'll be better for it if we get used to doing it. We'll get better at the game, and like it's kind of like, uh, here you go. That's the first person that's wanted salted pepper on it. He is not a conformist at all. Okay, eggs, mussels, and togarashi. Ahaha. Perfect day complete. 43 customer served. So we actually didn't serve as many customers. I think because the ramen has so much that goes into it. Because you have that early prep, then it has to cook, and then you have to do the final prep. However, you'll notice here, money earned, we earned $578. So we actually had an increase on profits for that day. Delicious orders, however, was only 27. 43 perfect orders. Um, and 106 in tips. So, not a bad day. I mean, we made, I think, more this day than any of the other days. So, item unlocked for earning a 43 times combo. We got some colored walls. That will, that will be nice. Okay, so we color the walls and then we can add, like, those hedges and stuff. Um, earned two perfect days. We got some new restaurant booths. Some nice wooden ones. And we got a wall object. It's like a telephone. Like one of those old telephones. For 27 delicious orders. Um, colored walls. We got this purple, purple walls. I want, a, I want a floor. And there's a wall backsplash, and more colored walls. And wow, we are unlocking all kinds of things. Restaurant chairs, and yum. Level three achieved. New chef for higher levels unlocked. So now we have Big's Burgers. We have the second level of 80s. Awesome. And we are level three right now. Let's take a look at designer mode. So the walls. Okay, we have wall type. Uh -huh. So, oh, I like that. I'm going to go with this, like, smooth gray, I think. And then paneling. See, the paneling, then we could just put, like, what I'm thinking. And I'm going to do a bit of playing around with this between episodes. But we could put, like, the wall paneling on the back, like, on the sides there. And then maybe some right there. And something like that, like have those like strips um, through it, maybe. I don't know. I'm gonna play around with it. And then there's also a wall backsplash, so we can have like this section here that's different, like the lower section of the wall that's different 
in the upper section. Oh man, this is going to be so much fun. So much fun. There's so much detail that went into this. It's great because you can customize everything. Like before in the first one, you know, it was basically just change any time that you raised your star level, your restaurant star level. And now it's just like, whoa, totally different. So anyways, I know we only did three days today, but we had a lot to cover and designer mode to look at and stuff like that. Um, this weekend, I will probably spend some time playing around with designer mode. Um, try to get something something semi-nice put together for us as we progress and then make some changes and stuff as we go. So, so anyways, with that, I think it's about wrapping up point. Um, once again, this is Cook, Starve, Delicious 2. Just came out today. And the game is $13 to purchase. So just a heads up on that. And once again, I will be doing a giveaway on my channel in the next couple episodes for the game. So stay tuned for that. I'm just going to kind of announce it in one of the videos. And I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. And if you did, as always, be sure and hit that like button. And go ahead and subscribe if you're not already to stay up to date with when new videos come out. Next episode, I am going to get a new side dish. I do want to change side dishes from macaroni to something else. I'm thinking maybe potato salad or something. Because I, I like the way potato salad preps and it's just ready. There's no cooking process. So if I need a side, phew, there we go. But... Anyways, I hope to see you guys next time. Until then, as always, do take care, stay safe, and I'll see you guys next time.